Hello, my name is Eva and I've been journaling for the past 10 years. It is a great deal more than simply writing my thoughts about the day. Journaling helps us process and come to deeper understandings about ourselves, our thoughts, and our behavior patterns. In other words, it helps us dig deep. If there's something you need to work out, like something like a breakup or work issues or parent issues, it helps us prevent rumination or obsession with the past and anxiety or obsession with the future. Now, many of us are uncomfortable with sharing with others. I've been in the mental health field for years and it is amazing how if you even suggest that someone talk to someone, they get all upset as if you have insulted them a great deal. An alternative is to start by talking or in this case, writing to yourself. Let's discuss the benefits. Number one, it helps you express gratitude. This helps us recognize and appreciate the goodness outside of ourselves. This helps counter selfish inclination and also prompts us to help pay good deeds forward. Remember, when we give, we are the first to benefit. Next, it helps you track ruminations. You sometimes get caught up in problems and it's easy to do so when we do not intentionally focus on the good. Now, rumination occurs when we focus heavily on previous mistakes, losses, or painful experiences. Consider it akin to being stuck in the past. Journaling helps us monitor our judgments and criticisms because they don't help us in the communication process. When you say words like should and ought, you are placing judgment and putting your opinions onto another. Now this creates a wedge and builds a wall between you and other people. In interpersonal communication, like that between of a friend or colleague, we must remember that it is our job to seek out and remove these barriers rather than create further distance from harmony. Number four, journaling about times that you see the good in others helps us build compassion. Now, compassion along with empathy helps build and strengthen relationships. It uplifts those around us because it communicates that we care. Now, remember to practice self-compassion as well. Number five, journaling can help you explore the dark side. For example, when you journal, you may notice that you are angry, jealous, greedy, or perhaps even engaging in vices. So this method of tracking will help you become more accountable. Number six, journaling can help heal from trauma. Gain a firm understanding of your pain, how you experience it, and when and in what intensity you are experiencing traumatic pain. Now, this may seem icky at first, but trust that confronting an issue is better in the long term rather than running away. Because unmitigated trauma can lead to a host of mental health issues. Number seven, celebrate success. If you are working towards a goal, you may realize that the small victories matter just as much as the larger ones. Perhaps it's not appropriate, however, to share every triumph with others, but you want to keep your momentum going. Give yourself a chance to delight and revel in the completion of your first chapter of a book, the final brick laid on your homemade patio, the halfway mark on your vacation, fund. 
Number eight, journaling helps make you a better writer and a more contemplative person. Your journals contains lists, plans for the futures, and hopefully lessons learned. It is an expression of your being and contains your deepest thoughts. And in order to write your thoughts, you end up pondering them in such a way that causes you to explore the recesses of your mind. Get your philosophy on. Number nine, journaling helps you become a better speaker and communicator. Writing and speaking are bedfellows. This means they are alike or closely connected. With time and patience, you will see that as you become better at intrapersonal communication, you will likely see enhanced conversation with others. When you are ready to write your own story or need any help at all with the writing process, feel free to reach out to me and feel free to take a look at my course on how to become a more effective communication in your personal and business relationships. All right, until next time, be happy and confident speakers and writers.